the load on. Morning. change of venues required. Um, prejudice is presumed from pretrial publicity, but pretrial publicity is sufficiently prejudicial and inflammatory, and the prejudicial pretrial publicity saturates the community where the trials are held. They found presumed pretrial publicity in a case much less renowned, um, much less publicized than this one. Uh, and Your Honor, uh, to try to try this case in less than a year after the verdict came in, in the other case, don't we need to let it calm down a little bit? Where are you going to get a jury? Mars? I mean, there's nowhere in this case. Allendale, Orangeburg, Beaufort, Colleton, Hampton. I appreciate your sense of humor. It's not a sense of humor. We have many uh, counties where these indictments were issued. I'm not presuming that a jury cannot be impaneled, uh, just as the trial that took place on Colleton County, there was no motion to change venue. Uh, I, and I'm not presuming any prejudice, uh, and the test is not uh, based on speculation. The test is whether or not a jury can be impaneled. You first have to attempt to get a jury according to the law. What I'm saying is, I think it'd be an exercise of utility. I know this. We've been interviewing jurors, as you know, uh, in, the, in the murder trial. Uh, there was a juror who, 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 on that jury who had, could have been excused, been on the jury uh, panel who was in the previous year, and told other jurors, I want on this trial. I want on this trial. And that, I'm afraid, is what happened on that jury. We got a motion for a new trial for after discovered evidence. Um, the court, uh, the attorney general is going to file their response tomorrow. We believe the court of appeals will order a hearing uh, before a circuit court judge um, to determine whether or not uh, the clerk of court tampered with that jury. And that is very. And, and so we would go forward with another trial while that matter is pending, while that matter is being litigated. Probably not in Colorado County. Well, Your Honor, the, the idea that somehow something happens in Colton County doesn't affect what happens in Beaufort County. But, I mean, this is a national case. I mean, do they not have television in Allendale County? I don't do know. Do they not have the Internet? I don't know. But what's, the, and what's the hurry? That's the other point. What is the hurry? He's pleading in federal court next Thursday. Every allegation the state has made, the victims will have their day in court. We plead, you know, we plead, uh, Mr. Murdoch indicated he pleads guilty to the state charge, but the state insists on doing them in serial so they get three convictions so they can get life without parole by a guy who's already serving two life sentences without parole. This is just another attempt to get more publicity, to, to, to make this another national case. And, I, Your Honor, I'm offended uh, with the, that the Attorney General is waiting. He's got many other cases that are much older than this. But get granted, court TV won't be there for them. 
This is another effort at creating a national spectacle. Now, Your Honor has some things to say about Mr. Murdoch at a sentencing. You obviously believe he's guilty of that. You obviously, and the jury found him guilty of that. But I would ask you to put those feelings aside and give us a chance to litigate this jury tampering issue. Hey all y'all, how y'all doing today? All y'all, have a good day.